Discussion on chest x-ray in left to right shunts. Chest x-ray is a simple, cheap and easily available investigation for the evaluation of left to right shunts. But it is often avoided in pediatric age group due to concerns of radiation. Cardiac size and lung vascularity can be readily assessed and followed up serially. Lung vascularity pattern is different in pre-tricuspid and post-tricuspid shunts. Pattern changes with the development of pulmonary hypertension as the shunt decreases. Cardiac size also decreases when the shunt decreases. Cardiac chamber enlargements are also different according to the level of the shunt. This chest x-ray in atrial septal defect shows grossly dilated main pulmonary artery. The right pulmonary artery is also quite enlarged. Right atrial enlargement is seen as a shift of the cardiac contour to the right of the spine. Pulmonary vascularity is increased and prominent endon vessels are seen. Apex is upwards suggesting a right ventricular configuration. All features suggest a large secondum AST with a large left to right shunt producing severe pulmonary hypertension. Cardiomegaly on chest x-ray is suggestive of AST in Eisenmenger syndrome while it is unlikely in VST and PD Eisenmenger. Cardiomegaly is mainly due to grossly dilated right atrium in atrial septal defect. The right atrium is not enlarged in the other two varieties of Eisenmenger syndrome. In ventricular septal defect with large left right shunt, the cardiac size comes down as pulmonary hypertension develops and the shunt decreases. Cardiomegaly in VST and PDA with large left to right shunt are due to left ventricular enlargement. But this comes down with the development of pulmonary hypertension. That is why cardiomegaly is not a feature of Eisenmenger syndrome due to VST and PDA. X-ray chest PA view in atrial septal defect with severe pulmonary hypertension. Prominent main pulmonary artery, right pulmonary artery and left pulmonary artery behind the main pulmonary artery and endon views of dilated branch pulmonary arteries are seen. Echocardiography documented large secondum AST with severe pulmonary hypertension and bidirectional shunt across the AST. There is mild right atrial enlargement and the configuration of apex is right ventricular. Absence of significant cardiomegaly would suggest that the pulmonary hypertension developed early before very large shunt was established. In AST, shunt is fully established only when the right ventricular muscle mass regresses. Some cases with higher pulmonary vasoreactivity develop pulmonary hypertension early. Prominent central pulmonary artery in acute massive pulmonary embolism is called Fleischner's sign. Some authors extend the term to prominent central pulmonary artery due to other causes of pulmonary hypertension as in ASD. Chest X-ray is normal in a small VST. Large VST will have left ventricular type of cardiomegaly and pulmonary congestion in infancy before the development of pulmonary hypertension. Pulmonary hypertension manifests on CXR as prominent main pulmonary artery segment and prominent right descending pulmonary artery. Close scrutiny may show the dilated left pulmonary artery within the cardiac silhouette. When severe pulmonary hypertension occurs, Cardiac size decreases due to decrease in the pulmonary blood flow, but pulmonary arteries become more prominent. Initially, pulmonary vascular markings are prominent and seen up to the periphery of the lung fields with large left-right shunt. When vasoreactive pulmonary hypertension sets in, there is peripheral pruning with decrease in vascular markings in the periphery of the lung fields. X-ray chest of a child with VST left-right shunt and hyperdynamic pulmonary hypertension. There is cardiomegaly, prominent main pulmonary artery segment and right pulmonary artery. Enlarged left pulmonary artery shadow is seen below the left cardiac border within the cardiac silhouette. The enhanced vascular markings are visible on the right side whereas it is obscured by the cardiac shadow on the left side. This child ideally needs cardiac catheterization for evaluation of shunt and pulmonary vascular resistance and its reversibility to decide on surgical option. X-ray chest in PDA with large left to right shunt will show cardiomegaly and increased pulmonary vascularity as in other large left to right shunts. In PDA, an additional feature on X-ray chest is the dilated aortic shadow. 
Inverted Y-shaped ductal calcification may also be seen with PDA and Eisenmenger syndrome. Usually, partial anomalous pulmonary venous drainage is associated with sinus venosus AST and the X-ray findings are those of AST. In isolated partial anomalous pulmonary venous drainage, one specific variety is Scimitar syndrome. Scimitar syndrome is characterized by partial anomalous pulmonary venous drainage of the right lung, right lung hypoplasia, dextroposition of the heart, and anomalous systemic arterial supply from aorta or one of its branches to the right lung. Sequestration In Scimitar syndrome, partial anomalous pulmonary venous drainage from the right lung is into the inferior vena cava. In partial anomalous pulmonary venous drainage associated with ASD, it usually drains to the superior vena cava right atrium junction. The partial anomalous pulmonary venous drainage in Scimitar syndrome appears as a curved shadow in the right lower zone resembling a curved sword which was known as scimitar. The shadow dips down below the diaphragm as it courses towards the inferior vena cava. Familial scimitar syndrome has been reported in two sisters. Diagrammatic representation of scimitar sign in chest x-ray. Diagram of a partial anomalous pulmonary vein draining towards the inferior vena cava from the right lung has been superimposed on a chest x-ray and marked by white arrows.